In this episode, we're going to cover the inverse program. This is used for determining the azimuth and distance between two known points. On, right shift, program, and go down. Make sure you're at the top here. Right shift, label, and we're going to label this program I. Left shift, flags, one, point, zero. Line three is going to be a message. So EQN, RCL, I, RCL, N, RCL V RCL E RCL R RCL S RCL E Right shift PSE EQN RCL B RCL E RCL G right shift space RCL N RCL O RCL R RCL T RCL H right shift PSE left shift input N EQN RCL B RCL E RCL G right shift space RCL E RCL A RCL S RCL T Right shift, PSE, left shift, input, E, EQN, RCL, E, RCL, N, RCL, D, left shift, space RCL N RCL O RCL R RCL T RCL H right shift PSE left shift input Y EQN RCL E RCL N RCL D right shift space RCL E RCL A RCL S RCL T right shift P 
PSE, left shift, flags, two, point, zero. Left shift, input, X, RCL, X, RCL, E, minus, RCL, Y, RCL, N minus X E Q Y zero zero one right shift sto D X Y right shift HMS, right shift, stow, A, left shift, flags, one, point, zero, EQN, RCL, a, RCL, Z, RCL, I, RCL, M, RCL, U, RCL, T, RCL, H. Right shift, PSE, left shift, View A EQN RCL D RCL I RCL S RCL T RCL A RCL N RCL C RCL E right shift PSE left shift view D XY left shift RTN I'm going to go to the top again. Now you guys can double check, make sure it's the same as mine. And make sure that you guys watched episode number one and you put in the Y program as well. Now we can go right shift program. Here are two node points, point 130 and point 131. Both have the northern and eastings. This inverse program 
is going to allow us to find D, the distance between each point, and also the azimuth. This is going to be delta N, and this is delta E. We are going to test our inverse program now. XEQ, I, enter. We'll be prompted to put in the northing for our first point, which is point 130, which is 4,000. RS, easting is 5,000. RS. And now the northing for point 131. RS. And the easting for point 131. RS. And we're going to get our azimuth, which is 5 degrees, 48 minutes, 52.06 seconds. And at RS again, in a distance of 203.4698. If you got a different azimuth or distance than I did, then go back and make sure that you put in the northing and eastings right. And if that's still not working out, then go back and check the program, check the inverse program, and check the rectangular polar routine, and just make sure that everything matches with mine and enter, we'll press back, enter, left shift, and off. See you guys in the next episode.